Thanks for tuning into this video. Today, this video is about a follow-up to another video I did a little while ago about a research piece that was published in the Orthomolecular Journal about 25 case studies and being reversed with kidney disease and, and what they did. And it was by a Stephen McConnell, who I had the pleasure of speaking to. And I wanted to uh, touch on this again to really make it clear to everybody what you can do with this information. So the two main ingredients or two main therapeutic things I'm going to talk about here is sodium bicarbonate and niacin, straight niacin. Now, there is a term called UB carbonatemic acidosis. All right? That means you have acid buildup before it shows in the blood work. And a lot of really, really great researchers and a lot of studies have shown now that this process can go on before it shows in the blood work. So we know how to look for acidosis in the blood work or metabolic acidosis by the CO2 number. We have other videos on that. If you're not familiar, you can check them out. But this is something that anybody can try with kidney disease. Make sure to get your before blood work and then get your after blood work after you do this for a period of time. So what you want to do is you can take sodium bicarbonate. It comes in 650 milligram pills. Now you would take between one and three pills a day, depending on the severity of your kidney disease. So if you're in the later stages, you can use that two to three pills a day. And if you're in the early stages, you can use one pill a day. And what the sodium bicarbonate does is it gets rid of the acid buildup that comes along with kidney disease. Sometimes this acid buildup is very clear in the blood work and it's still not being treated by a very high percentage of nephrologists. Um, not sure why, just how it is. The information is out there, but it's not widely spread. Um, so this is something that you're going to do on your own. All right, but make sure, like I said, to get your before and after blood work. So you can take the sodium bicarbonate, one to three pills a day, you break it up, and maybe about 90 days you can get your blood work again to see where it's at. Now, part of this protocol is not just the sodium bicarbonate. It's also using niacin. Niacin is B3. There's a lot of different forms of niacin. There's niacinamide. Um, there's a few different forms, but we're talking about niacin, straight form. And, Straight niacin has the most benefits. The most benefits for the kidney, it can help with proteinuria, shown to slow down the loss of kidney function. Um, it also helps with the cholesterol, uh, your apolipoproteins it helps with, particle sizes. So it's a really, really great therapeutic thing. Now the problem with niacin is that you can flush with it. Straight niacin can cause flushing. Flushing is completely harmless. It may be uncomfortable, you get red, you get itchy, but it's harmless. It doesn't do anything. So the titration dose, okay, according to uh, Stephen McConnell, is that you would start with a low dose. You would start with 100 milligrams. And you want to try to get to three times a day, at least twice a day, 100 milligrams twice a day. Then you're probably not going to flush with that. Okay, but start, like I said, one niacin pill, 100 milligrams once a day. You could even start with 50 milligrams. Okay, they sell these low doses on the internet, at Walmart, um, a lot of different stores. So you would start with that 100 and you gradually increase to look to try to get to 500 milligrams two to three times a day. Three times a day would be ideal. But if you can get to 1500 milligrams, even if you did it twice a day, like 750 or so, that would be good. But that would be the ideal amount. But if you could only get to, let's say, 1000 milligrams a day, let's say you can only get to 700 milligrams a day, it's still shown therapeutic even at those low, low doses. So you really want to strive to try to use the straight niacin. Now, if flushing is an issue, okay, you, your body will adjust over time, but you can always take Alka-Seltzer if you feel yourself flushing, because Alka-Seltzer will neutralize the flushing effect. So uh, just to cover in summary, sodium bicarbonate, okay, they come in 650 milligram pills, one to three pills a day, plus the niacin starting really low at 100 milligrams a day. A uh, couple things to think about. Uh, a lot of people worry about sodium bicarbonate. It sounds like sodium. I can't have sodium with kidney disease. Sodium bicarbonate is actually really therapeutic, great for the kidney, and it can help your blood pressure as studies show. It's not a big uh, drop in blood pressure. We're talking a few points, but you don't have to worry about the sodium causing your blood pressure to go high in sodium bicarbonate. It's different than sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is your table salt. That's the one that can raise your blood pressure. So you want to be mindful of that. So don't worry about the sodium and sodium bicarbonate. It's completely different than table salt. Um, second all, uh, 
worry about the sodium, the flushing, using the Alka-Seltzer, I want to make sure I cover everything for you guys if you find flushing to be uncomfortable. But try those two nutrients. I think anybody with kidney disease is definitely worth a try. Get your before and after blood work um, to see the difference, to see what's going on. So we have another video, an older one, where I, I talk about this further, but I wanted to update it to really focus on that niacin, the straight niacin. You want to really do your best to use that and that sodium bicarbonate into your best kidney health, guys. Really something to try that's very safe, okay? It could be very therapeutic. It could really help you because you really want to do everything you can to avoid progressing to later stages of kidney disease. Don't want to go what I had to go through, fistula, dialysis, kidney transplant. If you can avoid that, it's great. If not, you can still live a great, healthy life while dealing with those issues. So thanks for watching. Hundreds of other videos to improve your kidney health. Best wishes. Bye, everybody.